Hello, I'm Andrew Wheeler, and welcome to the news. Our top story is the United States. Fossil fuel production is dangerously out of sync. This means that this decade and possibly more years to come, we will experience one of the biggest climate changes and global warming changes in the history of global warming and climate change. Maybe it can increase by one degree, maybe even two, who knows. Right now in the U.S., people are trying to collect fossil fuels without changing the global heat as much. But unfortunately, slowly and steady every year and every decade, the global heat gets hotter and hotter, so having fossil fuel production out of one will affect the temperatures we are used to. So while we are in shelter from the freezing cold outside Las Vegas, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The lock-in's coming up. It's on November 5th from 6 to 10 p.m. You can pay $20 online, but unlimited tacos. There'll be video games, taco guys, drinks, candy, inflatables, open gym, and more. You gotta make sure that you pay by November 2nd at 2.30 because the link will be shut down. Also, you can't have any Fs. We will be doing grade checks. So make sure you have your ID with you present, you pay online before November 2nd, and we hope to see you all there at the lock-in. Welcome back, and here are some more top stories. The White House wanting to keep people safe from COVID-19, especially young kids. They are making a plan to immunize or give the COVID-19 vaccine to kids ages 5 to 11. In other news, an Israeli scuba diver who wants to remain anonymous was diving this weekend off the coast in the Mediterranean when he discovered an ancient star estimated to be about 900 years old. Him, fearing that it would obviously be buried for good after maybe a few ocean waves and such, he gave it to the authorities, who did confirm to be an actual real sword from 900 years ago. How cool is that? So if you're brave enough to scuba dive and handle the cold waters because it's October, look around on the, look around on the sea floor. You might discover something no one has ever seen before. And maybe you could even become well as known as a scuba diver did, even if he is anonymous. This week, the NBA started its regular season. Brooklyn and the Lakers are the favorites. But Phoenix and Milwaukee are strong contenders. It should be a great season. Here with more sports, our sports guys. Hi, this is Adson Cabrera. And this is Brendan Goddard. We're here to talk to you about sports. First up is NFL football. Our Las Vegas Raiders played against the Denver Broncos this past Sunday. It was a great game ending with the Raiders winning 34-24, along with the Cardinals this week keeping their undefeated record of 6-0. Now to baseball. With the Dodgers having a great comeback in the 8th inning, winning at 6-5. Great job, Dodgers. And now for our Sky Point Sports. All of our volleyball teams won against Canyon Springs. Great job, girls. And to our boys' soccer team, they unfortunately lost to Slam this week. And lastly, good luck to all of our sports teams this week. And now, to entertainment. Hey guys, it's your entertainment section, Haven and Holly. This week we have so many fun things planned. Today we have the Fall Festival. It's going to be so fun. There will be soda ring, bottle toss, bouncy houses, win a fish, and so much more. Are you going to the Fall Festival? I am. Are you? I am. So what are you dressing up as for Halloween, Haven? I'm not dressing up. What are you dressing up as? Daphne from Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. Halloween is right around the corner and you should definitely be getting your costume soon. For Halloween, do you go to parties, trick-or-treat, or usually hand out candy? Um, well, I haven't trick-or-treated in like two years. With you was the last time, so I don't really do anything. What do you do? I <laughs> trick-or-treat. <laughs> yes. Well, that's all that we have for today. Thank you for watching your entertainment. I'm Haven. And I'm Holly. Bye. These seem fun things to do this week and this weekend. Now let's see what Sean is up to in this new report. Hey, guys. Sean here. And today I'm going to be going around the school asking students do they think they're smarter than the fifth graders. Some of them are going to get it right, some of them are going to get it wrong. Let's see what Skyport has to offer, because I know this, this is going to be tough. Hey, I'm here with... Jacob. Hey, I'm here with... Jacob. All right, Jacob, do you feel like you're smarter than a fifth grader? Mm, sure. All right, listen to this. The house on the right's red, the house on the left's green. Where's the White House? There is no White House. 
in Washington, D.C. Bro. Oh, my. Hey, I'm here with... Alizé. All right, Alizé, do you feel like you're smarter than a fifth grader? Yes. All right, bet. Let's see. Positive? Yes. All right. Say silk. Silk. Spell silk. S-I-L-K. All right, say silk twice. Silk, silk. Say silk three times. Silk, silk, silk. Now, what do cows drink? Milk. Hey, I'm here with... Uh, Mr. Mouse. All right, Mr. Miles, do you feel like you're smarter than a fifth grader? I'm much smarter than a fifth grader. Yeah, I know you are. Okay. All right, bet. Listen to this. A squirrel, monkey, and bird are racing up a coconut tree. Who got the banana first? The what? A squirrel, monkey, and <laughs> bird are racing, racing up a coconut tree. Who got the banana first? Donkey Kong. For sure? For sure. Or uh, what about the bird that's probably already in the air? It's a coconut tree. There's no bananas in a coconut There you tree. go. <laughs> hey, I'm here with... Ray. Do you feel like you're smarter than a fifth grader? Nah. Alright, where are you from, bro? <laughs> Vegas. What is the capital of Vegas? What? Oh, Henderson. Sure. There's no capital of Vegas. Alright. Hey, I'm here with... Johnny. Alright, Johnny, do you feel like you're smarter than a fifth grader? No. Man, I got some pop. Dang, man. I got some hope in you. Alright, well, listen to this, okay? Living in a one story house, okay? Be it's just beautiful, okay? The kitchen's red, the closet's black, the living room's green. What color are the stairs? White. Sure? <laughs> no. You want me to say it one more time? Sure. You live in a beautiful one story house, okay? The kitchen's red, the closet's black, and the living room's green. What color are the stairs? I'll just say white. Hey, I'm here with Diego Moreno. So, Diego, do you feel like you're smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah. Alright, well, I got this question for you, okay? Your mom has four kids. North, east, south. Who's the last child? I don't know. Your mom the has. Child. Yeah. No. Want me to say it one more time? North, east, south. Oh, is it west? Positive by that? Yeah. Alright then. That's it for Eagle Vision. Thank you for watching today's this week's news. And remember, fly high Eagles and so far. Goodbye.